Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back, Super Metal Brothers. We are back for another reaction. This is Alluvial Death is But a Door. Uh, I know nothing about this band. I've actually heard they had like an album in like 2017. It was all instrumental, but they picked up a lead singer after that. And I guess I've had an album since then, which I didn't know about. And then they have uh, they have some new releases. So it looks like they're ramping up for an EP possibly because they already got three releases in like the last like month. So probably getting ready to do like an EP release. But uh, so I know that they're like progressive, like technical death metal. Uh, at least that's where I got on to them. How did you catch wind of this? So when we were doing all the... Uh, tech death uh episode when we were doing all of our investigation this is one of the bands that was suggested they didn't hit that actual episode but if you're a long time watcher you should check out that episode the progressive or tech death episode where we dive deep into that genre so this is one of those bands they they were suggested quite a bit so all right that's yeah i know, I know nothing about it i'm down to check it out what does alluvial mean do we even know uh something sexy i'm sure yeah, is that death. like an even sexier move? Yes. Let's look it up. A sexy body part. It's a neck nipple. Relating to or delivered from alluvium. <laughs> way, to, yeah, alluvium. way to shine light on that mystery. <laughs> and alluvium is a deposit of clay, silt, sand, and gravel. So it is sexy. So are they like, what do you call those people? Not geographers. Geo. Geo. People like rocks. Are they rock people? Geologists. Geologists, there you go. That's the word I was looking for. So the geologists, the, the scientists that love dirt and rocks, alluvial. Deliver like us to tech rock. Band would do. Let's let's just go for it. Oh, he's twacked. Mm. Tech death, not even once. Oh, what's he going to do? Ooh, I like that melody. Okay. Almost looks like the vocalist for Faith No More, dude, if he just went down a really <laughs> dark path in life. Okay. Oh, that dude definitely listens to Faith No More. Look at him. problem with today i can't tell which time era we're in <laughs> oh shit oh, fuck. damn did him dirty What are y'all doing? <laughs> Quick, get in the dishwasher. Oh, damn, his aim came worse as he as he went along. Why does every mass shooter rock camo? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shit. Yeah, I knew that. Why did she just run out? That was, a, that was a really dark fucking video. I didn't see the lyrics. I know, dude. It. I feel bad because I wasn't really paying attention to the music. You know? <laughs> yeah. You might have to go back and listen to it, actually. Yeah. So that sounds like it might be like just kind of like a ballad for them. Because I think that they, from what I've heard of them, they, they were super technical and like a lot harder than that. So that might be just like more of a a one-off like shorter song so they do have two releases on this you want to tr maybe try the other one yeah we can do that maybe we'll just put yeah. them into one video fuck it yeah let's because i mean we we've never heard this band before that might have been a bad one to start with i liked it dude yeah, i mean yeah. based on what i heard like i was actually vibing with it uh because there were those moments of definitely some tech death coming in and out but there was like that chorus with the clean vocals felt like kind of a uh, doom Yes, like, I was going to say the same thing. It definitely sounds like uh, very doomy. So I wonder if that's their thing. That's kind of where I want to get to. Is that a one off for them or is that more like their sound? Because that was way different than what I was expecting. I think that's what got me off guard, which not that it was bad. It was just like, oh, I was expecting some techie stuff to happen. Yeah, so that was Death is But a Door, which like that came out like November 24th. So yesterday off this new these new releases that they have, they have a song called Bog Dweller, which came out October 5th. So let's try that one out. Let's see if there's any difference. OK, already starting a little different. Oh, there we go.
are they going to do here? We'll be dropping. That's a sick rip. Yeah, I love those screeches. Yeah, that was tough as fuck, man. Yeah, I like it, dude. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think we're getting a little bit more uh, idea Doom. of who this band is. And I'm reading through the comments and people are, I guess the guitarist's name is Wes Hotch. And like pretty much everybody's just praising the shit out of him. Just jerking like, him off. Yeah, like yeah, this dude is so. my favorite guitarist, basically, yeah. is whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... Uh, I, it's death metal or but obviously they have tech death and doom elements yeah from what i can tell it's yeah uh, i mean cool no i like it man they sound pretty versatile on what they can do and that was tough man a lot of um old guitarist style there like you know i always quote dime anytime i hear a squeal i i think dime bag so yeah yeah but uh but that did that was kind of a reinventing the steel like a goddamn electric or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of that kind of riff, very, very squealy and bendy and just all that. But they gave us some of that really technical time signature, all that stuff. But it's actually, I'd say leaning a mo little bit more, uh, I don't want to call it like death core, but just like it's, it's, it's not so complicated and techy and progressive that it's unapproachable for like someone who's not a musician. I, I can yeah. see a lot of people just grooving to this shit. It was pretty groovy for for a death metal band or something that was suggested as a death metal band. And maybe people don't see them that way. But no, I would it would definitely lean more towards death metal than deathcore, in my opinion. Yeah, that's but fair. what yeah. was cool about it is um, just the all the different uh, guitar techniques that dude was thrown in from like those dime bag squeals to the bends. There was that riff that they kept. Uh, it was it was almost like Thal, but it wasn't like pitch shifted where they yeah. just kept going back to the uh, that high note on the guitar throughout the song. Uh, no, it was cool. I'm digging it. Definitely going to check out Alluvial. I'm glad that we checked out both songs. The yeah. this is the Alluvial double feature today. Yeah, the Alluvial double feature. We didn't even know we were going to do that. We just decided to do it. But it looks like on that release, they've got three now. So there's a third song called uh, fog belt which i'll probably check out after this but first time hearing them i really liked it that's yep. like definitely my style of music that i'm looking for so give us give us some songs that we should react to um i'm definitely gonna dig further in after this uh, i'm digging what i hear so far and also go check out our long form like my brother said we uh just did an episode recently let's see uh, interview with James Morgan from Cat's Claw. If you like Thaw, we did a, a prog or tech death episode, which might appeal to most of the people that are watching this one. We did an album review of uh, Data Elysium by The Zenith Passage. So go check that out as well. Links down in the description. Oh, yeah. Again, if you like this video, like, subscribe in return. We appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Later. Later.